Okay, now knowing this, volume control, we have a guaranteed tidal volume and minute ventilation, but variable proximal airway pressure, so there's a possibility of elevated peak inspiratory pressure. On the other hand, pressure control, there is guaranteed proximal airway pressure because it's a pressure target, but variable tidal volume and minute ventilation. Mm. Now, is it possible to take the advantages of volume control, which is guaranteed tidal volume and minute ventilation, and the advantage of pressure control, which is guaranteed proximal airway pressure, and combine them in one mode? Yes. Actually, I don't know if you've heard about something called VC plus, volume control plus, or pressure regulated volume control. Basically, these modes are the same, and basically they are combining, combining the guaranteed proximal airway pressure and the guaranteed tidal volume. How? Basically, these probably you say, oh, this volume control. This is a pressure control mode mainly, but plus set tidal volume. We have to add the desired tidal volume. So remember in this, we have to provide the inspiratory pressure, the desired one plus inspiratory time now we add tidal volume. Now I have to say to say that some uh, ventilator will not allow you to set the inspiratory time directly in this mode. Instead, they will allow you to set the IE ratio directly. And then when you have a backup rate and you put this IE ratio, then you can predetermine the inspiratory time indirectly. So what is this is basically doing? We'll try to keep the proximal airway pressure constant, as we said, through the inspiration cycle to deliver, if this is the volume, a constant tidal volume. But as you said, flow and proximal airway pressure cannot be fixed, remember? At the same time, some has to go up and down to maintain this tidal volume. So the ventilator said, okay, I, I know that, the ventilator telling us. What actually I'm doing is the first breath, I give it as volume control breath. I give this set tidal volume, X amount of air as tidal volume. Then I measure how much pressure let's say y how much pressure i needed y pressure in the first breath to deliver xcc of air then okay i switch to pressure control using this y pressure here and here and continue monitoring the tidal volume now if the tidal volume remained at the desired tidal volume i'm happy if not, the tidal start going up and down. My job is to find the lowest proximal airway pressure to maintain the desired tidal volume. That's my job here. So this is a pressure control where the inspiratory pressure can change up and down from breath to breath to maintain the desired volume. But during that breath, it will maintain at the target pressure, the new target pressure that will change from breath and br to breath to maintain a tidal volume. And that means the proximal air pressure can keep going up and up or down and down to maintain this and we don't want we do not want that which i will explain in the next video